Yo, we meet again. Oh, right. I guess this is more of a nice to meet you, huh? Either way, glad to see you're taking an interest in this dimension again. The history you create's always fascinating. Take a look. These are the records of the very dimension you saved in the past. Hm? Have you already forgotten? Well, I guess I can't blame you. It has been a while. Well, don't sweat it. I've already recorded that history. You'll remember soon enough. Huh? Looks like Eastwar is calling ya. All right, it's time I head out. Later! Uh, player? Player? Player! I'm down here! Please, look down here! <laughs> Goodness, you weren't listening to a single word, were you? I will explain it once more, so you better listen carefully this time. This world has been created from parts of your world and our own, weaving together. According to Krar, this sort of world is called the VR dimension. However, it seems there is still much she does not understand, as she was unable to explain anything further. This room is influenced by both of our worlds, but it seems the effects of your world are much stronger. And, for that reason, we have decided to simply refer to it as the player's room. This room may be accessed using a gate, but the VR dimension's coordinates are unstable. I'll be coming by periodically to adjust them. Still, it is almost like a dream that we are able to interact with the player like this. We have been made aware of your existence long ago, but we could not find a way to speak with you directly. That is why, until recently, we've only communicated with you through the Thank You for Playing corner. Were you aware? I apologize. I have veered off topic. I will now explain the various commands that can be executed within the player room. First, about this object which I received from Krar. It is the historical record of your past guidance, and I have prepared it as a game. Please, play it if you desire. Additionally, the goddesses of the Four Nations will come to visit this player room eventually. Although, they will not unexpectedly visit you. You will be able to welcome them in at a more convenient time using this object. It seems Neptune and the others have things they wish to discuss with you, and I would be quite pleased if you could meet with them. This concludes my explanation of the player room. Did you understand it? Apologize for the long explanation. If there is anything you do not understand, I will always be here to explain it, so please do not worry. Things may become more noisy on occasion, but I hope we can get along from now on. this place oh uh, um i'm so sorry the circumstances that cause this are complicated but i think this is pretty customary for the series and in 3d space if you're not slightly above the floor the collision programming won't register and you might end up in an alternate dimension and hey calm the hell down you could have hurt someone. Look, you're right. I should check for injuries first. Uh, look here, please. 
Thank goodness. You don't look hurt. Um, very nice to meet you. Uh, my name's Neptune. And over here... This kid in the book is Krosty. Hey, we've got more important things to worry about. Look at this place. Huh? I think this is the VR dimension. V? R? This happens rarely, but different worlds must have overlapped, creating a sort of spatial anomaly. This is a virtual world. I don't, um, a spatial anomaly? The dimension it's overlapping with exists on a heavenly plane, too. It's one I can't even travel to. It's very possible the human over there is a guide called the player. This is incredibly rare. Rare? If I had to guess, they're probably playing a game called Mega Dimension. Maybe it's lying around here somewhere. Look for it. Nah, I don't have to look for it. I can just ask the player. Player, are you playing the game called Mega Dimension right now? Ooh, they said yes. You're amazing, Krosty. Tell me something I don't know. This means you're going to listen to me from now on, right? Good. Oh, wow. You're just so carefree around everybody, aren't you? <laughs> that wasn't a compliment. I remapped the dimension's coordinates, so we better get going now. What? Already? I guess we do have to hurry back. Oh, hey, Krusty, we can come back, right? Can't say I'm 100% sure, but... I mean, you mapped it, right? We should be good. All right, we're heading out now. Sorry for intruding. Woo! We made it. Hey, it worked. Uh, but looks like the coordinates shifted a little. I should fix that. Yoo-hoo! It's me, Neptune. <sighs> I was just fishing a little while ago, but I couldn't catch anything. Wow! You know that opening looks super clean, doesn't it? I'm a real artiste. Thanks for being such a sweetheart about it, player. I really am grateful. <laughs> ooh, ooh. <laughs> I was planning on having a fish party earlier, but that plan's kind of done now. <laughs> I haven't eaten anything, and I'm really feeling it. Wow, we are those cream puffs. They look so delicious. Hey, um, can I have one? Really? Yippee! Thanks! It's good to have friends, isn't it? We are friends now, right? Right. All right, I'll dig right in. Ah. <laughs> That was delicious. I'm in bliss. I've satisfied my hunger thanks to you. I think I can start fresh. Now then, I think I'll put aside fishing and start up some bug hunting. Sorry for all the hustle and bustle. I'll probably intrude again soon, so we can talk some more then. I'm going to get going for today, though. I'll see you soon.
Hello there, I'm back yet again. I've seriously walked everywhere trying to find bugs. Man, I'm tired. Is it okay if I sit with you? Oh, phew. New dimensions are full of bugs I've never seen before, so I never get bored. I found a big butterfly larva earlier. It had a red Y-shaped antenna. So cool. I said, ooh, new species, and tried to catch it, but it spit out its silk and turned into a really hard pupa. And then... <coughs> That pupa had really sleepy looking eyes. It was so cute that I started feeling guilty about taking it home. So I let it go. It'll be a beautiful butterfly someday, I'm sure. Enough about your bug stories. Hurry and do something about these wing scribbles. Oh, right, I forgot. When I was looking at the pupa earlier, a round balloony monster walked right up to me. It pulled out a mic and started singing. It sounded like Krosty. And then... <laughs> Next thing I know, I woke up. Somehow I fell asleep and I saw Krosty and the pupa had been doodled on. It was the funniest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> I even had doodles all over my face and we all just look so silly. <laughs> Isn't that hilarious? I keep cracking up just thinking about it. It ain't funny. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops, sorry. But honestly, if you were in that situation, wouldn't you laugh too? Right? If you woke up to find everyone's face was scribbled over, of course you'd laugh. <laughs> Looks like the bugs waiting to be discovered are calling to me. <sighs> I'll be heading back out to my bug search now. Hey there! Hi! I'm here to visit again. So, while I was chasing after rare bugs, I stumbled onto a ton of retro games. And so, I wanted to show them to you. <laughs> Already super curious, aren't you? There's a ton I want to show you, but if I had to choose one, it's this. This game is just amazing! In order to solve a puzzle, you have to wait without doing anything for an hour, or you have to sing using the mic built in the controller. There's no way to beat it by playing normally. The developer got over 400 complaint calls. And on top of that, according to the producer, it was put together in an hour's talk at a cafe. All the ridiculous game design decisions were apparently thought of right there. Oopsies. Sorry, sorry, I got a little overexcited. Well then, seeing is believing, so let's try playing it right now. Hmm? This is... Huh, I've never seen a console like this. Do you think it's possible to play this retro game on this console? Would you mind if I try? Right, it's worth a try. Here we go. Uh, hmm. It's no good. I don't see any place to stick the cartridge in. Huh, <sighs> that's too bad. It's the worst feeling in the universe when you want to play a game, but you can't. You're so dramatic. Hmm. You know, what if the hardware is where you found the software? It just might work. Nice, Krusty.
If the game won't work, we just have to find hardware that will play it. I'm not sure if I'll find it soon, but if I do, let's play it together. Whoops! <laughs> Sorry for staying so long. <laughs> I'll be leaving now. It's always so much fun with you. <laughs> I always end up forgetting the time. <laughs> I'll come back soon. See you! Hello, how have you been? About that hardware that could play those games? <laughs> I couldn't find it after all. Things just don't work out sometimes. Oh, right! Just when I was getting bummed out over my hardware search, I found a skyfish! As I was hurrying after it, I almost fell off a cliff. Ugh, you're too careless. If I get squashed under you one more time, please stop causing me so much trouble. I know, I know. I feel bad for not watching my surroundings, but... Oh, but you know what that means? It means I was concentrating so hard that I couldn't see around me. Concentration is a versatile trait to have in any situation. I'd prefer positive reinforcement, so I'd rather you not get so angry. Oh, and just FYI, I happen to be praised and worshipped as the goddess of concentration throughout all of game industry. Oh, please, that's the most ridiculous lie ever. So, anyway, back to the story of me seeing a skyfish. Player, do you believe that life forms others doubt the existence of actually exist? <laughs> you do, so we're the same. It's more interesting if they do. It lets us dream and hope. Now then. Break time's over, so I'll be getting back to nabbing the skyfish. We'll be heading out now. I had a lot of fun today. Let me visit again soon. Excuse me. Whoa! <laughs> Oopsie daisy. Oh man, I was trying to sneak in and surprise you. Oh well. I've been playing a retro game from Louis lately, but I can't get past this one boss. In order to beat it easily, I need to beat the boss of another stage and get this weapon, but that boss reflects attacks. It's really strong. Then, in order to beat that boss, you need to clear this tough stage where platforms disappear. And in order to beat that stage easily, you need a weapon from that first boss and... Wait, what? Is this some infinite loop? Uh, I'll get stuck in a rut if I think about it too much. I should change the topic. I can talk about myself. Hmm, let's see. Just consider this me thinking out loud. You know, I was super anxious until Uzume woke up. Being there on the front lines with her, I should have stopped her no matter what. Thinking about that made me feel guilty. 
but Nepgear wouldn't give up. She made me see how ridiculous I was for being so timid. Even though she's from a different dimension, she's still my younger sister. Because of that, I realized that I had to take the lead. All right, I better go make more of my special Netball V2 for Uzume. Ooh, hey, hey! There's going to be a huge battle, but afterwards, let's eat pudding together. That's what I like to hear. Okay, well, stay tuned and watch our awesomeness. Thanks for listening to me. Hiya there! Well, I'm here yet again! What's this? Is this a drink? This color! I don't think this is very healthy for you. Wow! I wonder what it tastes like! Let me try a sip. Here I go. Hmm? Oh, I know. This is an energy drink, isn't it? So this is what you're always drinking. Whoopsie. I just remembered I drank a whole lot of juice right before coming here. Thanks, but I think I'll have to pass on this. That's right. Talking about energy drinks, I just remembered. You know my special Netball V2, right? That was actually made by me playing around by mixing energy drinks together. When I was still a student, we had to put on a cafe for our school culture festival. I was playing around with mixing energy drinks. Uh, actually, it was a recipe I invented. It was a hit! It was so fun to see people enjoy the drink I made. So it started as tasting and comparing energy drinks led me to analyzing their ingredients and creating my own special drink. Oh, right! That giant drum that Uzume drank, I just made it taste like Netball V2. It was just water with no nutrients. Just a bit of trivia. Even as a CPU, drinking that much after a serious injury would be disastrous. Oh, but it'd be disastrous for a normal person to drink a drum full of water, too. So don't do this at home. With Netball V2, though, regardless of the ingredients, everyone gets better just by thinking they're drinking something amazing. <laughs> your head might clear up when you first drink it, but you're still pushing your body in the end. Make sure not to drink too much. Hey! It's almost time for our meeting. Is it time already? Sorry, I had a prior engagement today, so I better get going. I'll definitely be back, so wait for me. It's been a while. How have you been? I haven't been here in a while, huh? I almost feel a little bit embarrassed. Phew! I can finally take a break. Oh, that's right. Listen to this. I joined an organization recently, and the members are all really interesting. They've all got super unique and quirky personalities. 
One guy is a robot that seems like the epitome of dignity, and at first glance, he seems stubborn and hard to get close to. But he loves busty blondes, and he totally changes how he talks when the subject comes up. I laughed so hard the first time I heard that. If I told him I know someone in Leanbox who's a busty blonde, I'm sure he'd light up and bite the hook. <laughs> There's one other person who's also a robot. And he's a ninja. I couldn't help getting excited, and I tried to talk to him by yelling, Hi! Ninja, why? It looks like he's not very good at talking to girls, so the conversation went nowhere. He seems really skilled, though, so I wanted to learn some cool ninjutsu from him. Oh, I know. If he's not good with girls, maybe I could disguise myself as a guy. What do you think? The name's Neptune. I'm a strapping boy who works for an organization. <laughs> I don't even know what kind of character I'm going for. <laughs> oh, man, I'm so ridiculous. Oh, man, it's already this time? I have to put that girl back in my book. Sorry for suddenly barging in again. I hope you'll still let me visit after this. Oh, that's right. Here, as thanks for talking with me, it's a present full of love. Kidding. <laughs> All right, bye-bye. I'll be back. Phew, I think I managed to shake them. Oh, oh, what? This place is... Oh, <clears throat> Oh, hey! Yeah, I just came from an amusement park. When I was trying to decide to ride the roller coaster or not, I saw a really strange man with a suspicious aura walk by. My buggy senses were tingling, and I thought there might be some rare insect trafficking going down, so I shadowed him. I happened to see a dangerous smuggling deal. It didn't have anything to do with rare bugs, so I started to leave the scene, but then a huge guy just attacked me. So, I had to run for my life. If they would have caught me, I might have been given some suspicious drink that would have shrunk my body or something. Oh, that was so spooky. <laughs> Sorry, you can tell I'm lying, huh? But I'm the only one who can do what I'm doing right now. I won't cause you trouble, but I'd be happy if you didn't ask too many questions, okay? I knew I could trust you. Thanks for understanding. I'll make sure the next VR event goes more normally. Now then, so much happening today. I'd better head back. Sorry I'm always scrambling around. I'll come visit when things have settled. Welcome to the true thank you for playing corner. Woohoo! And the crowd goes wild! Man, I wasn't sure what would happen after I got attacked by Arbor.
I'm so thankful Nepgear and the others came. I escaped just in time. To be honest, I was preparing for the worst. So, about the other time when I asked for your help, I was actually talking about Kurame. It turned out that Kurame was the manifestation of Uzume's vengeful feelings. It was impossible to get her to let go of her desire for revenge. But still, as it turns out, I heard from Uzume afterwards that Kurame didn't think the time we spent together was a waste. Hearing that made me feel like maybe she truly heard me. I'm really glad about that. This happy ending is all thanks to you. And even though you're in another dimension, you helped us so much. You're a part of game industry forever. I'm so thankful for everything you've done for game industry. I'll always remember this. Thanks for always listening to me and giving me such great advice. And thank you so much for playing this game. I'll see you again. When they call player, right? Isti probably filled you in. Well, I guess you might already know, but my name's Neptune. It's nice to meet ya. Ah, you've met my bigger self, right? I guess that means from your perspective that I'm the smaller Neptune, doesn't it? That's not what I meant. Eyes on your own paper, buddy. So, um, my name gets pretty tricky for people in our dimension to say, so you can call me whatever you want. Anyway. Ah, that's a really cool game console. The games are... Mm. Ooh, wowie! You've got all kinds of genres, too. You've got some really great stuff here. Your manga collection is so interesting, too. What a cool room. I've been to lots of different worlds, but I don't recognize any of the manga or games you have in here. I know. I'll just tell Isti I'm going to study the outside world to expand my horizons. Is it okay if I visit you again? All right! I'd love it if you had some snacks and drinks ready for me the next time I visit. <laughs> Just kidding. Whoops! You know, there's more to this than me just having fun with you. I actually wanted to thank you for saving me, too. Aw, just when I was getting used to ya, we ran out of time. We'll continue this chit-chat later. Thanks for letting me visit. I'll be back soon, so <laughs> see ya. I came back! It's nice to see you again. You know, 
Some people would really like this room for how cozy it is, but my favorite thing about it is definitely all the games you have. Yep, yep, you have a ton of different types of games down here. FPSs and TPSs, some RPGs, and even driving simulators. Is this one a flight simulator? A sandbox game, too? Ooh, you've even got this one! Hey, hey, so I know you have a lot of games, but which types are your favorites? I like all types of games, really, but my favorite kinds are the super niche ones. They may not be very popular, but they're always very particular about a very specific thing, so I'm always impressed. You feel the same way, don't you, player? Right? I knew you, of all people, would understand. Oh, and I'll ask since we're here. So, you might know this already, but we all used to compete with each other for shares. One day, an enemy appeared, and ever since we combined our powers, our ways of thinking have totally changed for the better. Now, we all work really hard together to save game industry from danger. I really like our relationships now. I want to be even closer to them, even if it makes me a failure as a CPU. What do you think, player? What? I'm not a failure? I feel really happy hearing you say that for some reason. Whoops! If I stay too long, Isti's gonna scold me. I better get going. Also, let's just keep all this between you and me. Thanks for listening to me today. I'll be back to see you again. Jump! Hey there! I'm here! Again! <laughs> wow, you have pretty good taste, don't you, player? I wouldn't expect anything less. Were you playing a game? Ooh, an RPG, huh? Do you like RPGs? Yeah, that's the good stuff. I like them, too. I like old RPGs, too, you know? Like the super old ones that didn't even have battery-powered saves in the cartridges. That sinking feeling from when you mess up your password, making your whole day of playing worthless. It's a kind of thrill that just doesn't exist anymore. <sighs> that's the real charm of these old games, you know? Though, all the titles coming out these days are super detailed and pretty. I also think it's great that anyone, anywhere, can play together thanks to the internet. Old games are special, though. Their flaws left stuff to your imagination. And you'd play your friends right then and there, controllers plugged into the same console. Doesn't that sound like so much fun? <laughs> You'd say that. It's just nice to be able to sit next to someone and play a super fun game together. You know, you and me. We're two pixels and a PNG. Oh, crap. Isti found out I'm here. I'm supposed to be working right now. I've done it now. Time for a full course of Isti scolding. See 
you later. Bye. It's me again! How you doing? Hey, don't look at me like I'm some kind of slacker or something. I came here after I finished work today. It's true! Can you look me in the eyes and tell me I'm lying? Whoa, is it getting warm in here or is it just me? My eyes definitely didn't look like they were lying, right? Today, I helped organize the exhibits at the History Museum. We finished early, so I came here to play a bit. Most of the exhibits there were about older game consoles and software. When I was looking at one, I picked it up, and it just made me want to play all the games I used to play. Have you felt that way before, player? I knew it! We need to keep those old consoles safe and sound so we can remember how much we loved them. Making them heirlooms is the best way to appreciate them. I was running around a lot today. I think I'm just a little tired. comfy there. <laughs> I should make sure I get some rest on the days I work so hard. I'm gonna head home and take a bath. Up. Alrighty, see ya! Coordinate adjustment's pretty accurate now. Hey there! We're checking on the arrival location of the gate today. Um, why is it on the bed, you ask? So I could roll onto it as soon as I got here. Just kidding. Even I'm not always just rolling around, you know. What? You look like you don't believe me. Well, yeah, it's true that all I do is play games in my free time. Wait, what do you do in your free time? Do you play games on days you don't have anything to do, like me? Yep, I knew it! It seems like we have quite a bit in common. But, you know, I really like playing with everyone when all our schedules line up. Oh, guess what? We went to the beach not too long ago. I got a picture, too! Hey, found it! <laughs> Wanna see it, huh? What to do? It's a little embarrassing, but... I can make an exception for you. Let's see... Oh, check this one out! 
This is from when Iffy was three minutes late to our meetup, so we made her ride a baby bug boat as punishment. Iffy's super sporty and also a good driver, but she just can't get the hang of it for some reason. Okay, next is this. Iffy and Kampa decided to get together and try to surprise me. Man, they got me good. I was so shocked. Hmm? What's wrong? <laughs> I don't know why, but I feel a little shy. Oh, is it time already? <sighs> Thanks for today. Next time I visit, I won't dive onto your bed. See you later! Uh One of those. Mmm, so tasty. This is a good spot. Ah, ah. Phew. <laughs> you know, I'm kind of starting to feel like this room is my home away from home. I always talk about myself when I'm here, so today I'd like to actually talk about you. Oh, hey, what do you know about psychics? Has anyone ever given you a reading before? I'm going to perform a psychic reading on the very save data stored in your console. Ah, what's this? Ooh, why do you have so many games about girls with incredibly nice bodies? I'm just kidding. I'm not actually a psychic. I scared ya, didn't I? If I actually had powers like that, I'd be able to find out what you're really into. Although, I guess I could just ask. Like, what type of person do you like having fun with? Do you think you can get along with a girl like me? <laughs> Am I your type? <laughs> Honest, I've been wondering if I should try to be more heroine-esque or something. Oh. Too bad. It's time to go. See ya! Alrighty then, player. Let's pick up where we left off last, with question time! Hmm, where were we? Oh, I know! So, do you have someone, like a special someone in your life? Seriously? But I'm sure you have someone who's close to you. Sometimes it's kind of hard to see that on your own. As for me, I've got a ton. There's my little sister, Nepgear, Isti, and all the citizens of Planet Tune. Iffy and Kampa, too. There's Noir, Vert, and Blonde, of course, and all the friends we've made. And then there's you, player. Oh, gosh, what am I saying? 
This isn't something I should be saying out loud. Oh! Uh, uh. <laughs> Sorry, somehow I always end up just talking about myself. Okay, see ya! Hello? Don't mind me. <sighs> I'm finally able to come here and just relax. Everything is peaceful now. I don't think we're going to have any more problems in our world. But even if we did, I'd always be ready for them. To be honest, I'd love for this peace to continue for a long time. If it does, that means I could come here more often, right? I had a feeling. <laughs> I guess we make a good pair after all. Now, if, and this is a huge if, but... If game industry was in trouble again, I wonder if we'd be able to come together one more time. A goddess's power comes from one thing, shares. Everyone's feelings and dreams affect us in very real ways. And if the people are with me, I've got nothing to worry about. Besides, now that you're around, you'll be able to help me out too. If we're together, no matter what happens, the two of us can overcome anything. From now on, please keep an eye on us. We'd really appreciate that, okay? It's a promise. Are you the player? We haven't actually met. My name's Noir, the goddess of Last Station. It's a pleasure to meet you. Sorry to drop in like this. I've been wanting to meet you, so I thought I'd just come over. Am I bothering you? That's great! I was worried you might be a little too busy for me. This room looks pretty nice, but I think it could use a personal touch. I'd like to organize it a little bit. Hey, uh, if it's okay with you, could I clean up around here when I come and visit? news <laughs> just leave it to me but don't leave everything in a big mess just because you'll know i'll clean it up okay i'll have to tell the others that too especially neptune anyway i usually spend a lot of time hanging out at my friends houses they like to leave their games and manga lying around, and I always end up helping them clean up their stuff. And it's not like I'm a bossy lady or some kind of clean freak, you know. I just don't really like messy rooms. I have lots of friends, so it's difficult to keep up with them all. Uh, mm. uh was... That a little too much? I know that you're able to interact with other dimensions, so you probably know a little bit about me, don't you? You know, 
It is true that I visit my friends like Neptune pretty regularly. But also, I think it's difficult to label these relationships so one-sidedly. We're all goddesses and we're friends, but we're rivals too. And, well, it's not like we don't get along. In fact, it seems like we've actually been getting close lately. Uh, I, I feel like I keep talking about weird things. Um, I'm realizing this is the first time I've been in the room of someone who isn't one of the goddesses. It's probably just making me nervous. Huh? W what's up? Why are you staring? It's just gonna make me feel worse. Hey, can we turn on the AC or something? Uh, anyway, there's a lot of stuff I want us to talk about next time. I decided I'm gonna come over a little more often, so you'd better be ready. Uh, I mean, if that's alright with you... Of course. I'd be really happy if you let me visit again. But for now, I'm just glad I got to finally meet you. That said, I'm gonna get going. Eastwar told us to be careful since maintaining the gate coordinates can be tricky. See you around! Huh? <laughs> Who put this couch here? <sighs> what in the world am I doing? I don't know the first thing about moving through a gate, and here I am trying to show off. Hello, I thought I'd drop by. Uh, don't look at me like that! How was I supposed to know that the gate would open right in front of your freaking couch? But I owe you an apology for kicking your furniture. Sorry. By the way, this box on the table... Is this a video game from your world? The genre's... Oh, it's an FPS! You know, I actually enjoy a good FPS game, but I'm not very good at playing them. I have a tendency to act on my own when I play games like this, and I usually end up being a target. This is more of uni scene, not mine. Oh, Yumi's my little sister. She loves guns and military stuff and knows a ton about all that. Yumi always looks the most excited when she's playing those kinds of games. Just the other day, we were playing a multiplayer game together, and we talked a lot, but... Our chat became more and more niche, and it eventually got a little too hard for me to keep up with her. It's crazy! There are so many types of guns, and when you throw in customization, it's incredible how much there is to know. Speaking of weapons, I'm sure you already know this, but the weapon that I enjoy using the most is the rapier. What you might not have known is that there's quite a difference between Neptune's katana and my rapier, even though they're both swords. To explain it briefly, rapiers are much lighter than other swords, and they excel at stabbing your enemy because of that. Katanas are sharp, so you can slice or stab. Some say it's better because it can do both. Although it sounds like a more powerful weapon, its blade is rather delicate. 
An incredible amount of skill is needed of its user to wield it properly. Let's see. If you happen to get the chance, you should try to watch us when we're on the battlefield again. It'll paint a better picture of what I'm talking about. I'd show you now, but I can't just go swinging a sword around your room. Also, a weapon's attributes are only part of the puzzle. Its user's physique and personality affect their compatibility with it, too. My fighting style is what I'd call economic. I fight smarter, not harder. The rapier is light, and it allows me to quickly exploit my enemy's weaknesses. The katana isn't worse, but it has a curved blade. That gives it a pretty unique feel, and honestly, that makes it a little difficult for me to handle. Neptune is a lot different in that she doesn't subscribe to a particular fighting style. She's very... free, and an offensive weapon suits her. In my opinion, her fighting style completely ignores any and all tactics. It's just so dangerous that I couldn't possibly think of trying to emulate it. What? I'm not... Uh, I don't think I'm talking about her that much. Um, it's because... Uh, we're both goddesses, and this is stuff about her I should know. As fellow CPUs, sometimes we fight together. And when we do, combination skills become important too, you know? So, it's not weird. It's totally normal to analyze her movements. In battle, of course. Uh, um, hey, can you keep this conversation between the two of us? Because the thing is, if she were to hear this, she'd take it the wrong way and I'd never hear the end of it. You mean it? That's great news! <laughs> it's nice to share a secret like this. It's the stuff of real friendships. Phew. I just came over here to relax. I didn't think I'd talk so much. I think I'd better get going now. I guess the gate's position today really is right there. I'll come back again soon, okay? See ya! I almost left here with your game! Okay, seriously now. Later! Okay, today was perfect. Hello. Hmm, it feels like it's a little messier in here today, huh? I know I asked you last time, but are you okay with me cleaning up a bit? <laughs> to make this place spotless. I'll finish this up in no time. Ah! Ow, 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 ow. Uh, I'm fine. Oh, that was embarrassing. Please, don't stare! Okay, pens go over here. Okay, and games go... Yep, good. A game magazine. Okay, this goes... 
This is a good spot. Great, that'll do it. Ouch! <laughs> no, I've done it. <laughs> um, it sounded a lot worse than it actually was. It's fine. It looks fine, right? It doesn't look like it's dented anywhere. <sighs> That's good. <sighs> Sorry for scaring you like that, player. But thankfully, nothing's broken. Honest! Um, I don't usually make silly mistakes like that. It's cool, right, player? Uh, yeah, as long as you're cool, I'm cool. Well, anyway, it's time I head back. You know, I... Might have made a mess of things today, but it was just bad luck. I just had an off day, you know? My visit was a little short today, but next time, I'll make this place clean. I promise. All right, then. I'll see you again soon. Hey, player. How have you been? So, um, today I thought I'd change my routine a little and ask you for some advice. Lately, I've been wondering a lot about my future. I'm not sure what I want to do. Huh? Well, the reason I'm bringing this up is... So, I'm the goddess of last station, but I'm also a girl. There's just been a lot on my mind. So I want to... Or, whoops! My friend! It's about my friend, alright? She's really interested in becoming a voice actress. Doesn't everybody dream about becoming a voice actor? I mean, even if you could debut as one, you don't get work if you can't pass auditions. Sometimes it's tough to stay relevant, too. Of course, she understands the road is a difficult one. But still, she really wants to become a voice actor. Do you think she would be able to make it if she just believes in herself? Right. As long as she believes in herself, she'll be able to see that dream come true. This is random, but if some kind of magic user told you, I can make your wish come true, would you believe them? <laughs> I know, right? It's too good to be true. But good answer. Plus, it would just be too suspicious. You can't just go walking around hoping people will grant you wishes like that. You have to make your own dreams come true. Thanks for listening. I think I just have to make sure that I stay positive. I'm sure one day I'll be a great VO. That's what my friend said anyway.
Wow, we've been talking for a while, huh? It's about time I get going. I'll see you next time. <laughs> I came back to see you. This is random, but I was wondering, do you have any siblings? What? You don't? Honestly? My intuition must be off. Hmm. My friends who have siblings have this certain aura about them, and I thought you had it too. I'm not saying you have a strange aura or anything, so there's no need to worry. I think I told you before, but I have a younger sister named Uni. She works hard and I'm proud of her. She's so cute, too. But I always end up acting so uptight around her. Although, I do feel like we've been more open lately. The two of us have been through a lot together, too. Sometimes I think it's important to have someone who's always going to be by your side, you know? I mean, not just you need my friends, too. Um, I'm sure, well, you're my friend now, right? And you've been here for me every time I come and visit, and even now, you're here. Oh, this is so embarrassing, I might die. But I'm really grateful for you. I'm glad that we've been able to keep meeting up and talking like this. Like friends. Player, I want to spend a lot more time with you. I'm sure for that to happen, we'll both have to be on the same page, won't we? But for now, I do have to get going. I wish I didn't have to, but I'll come back soon. I think this will be an exercise in patience. Hello. Um, so... I found the script for a role that anyone can audition for. I wanted to run through it a few times so I could help my friend practice, but, um, can you please help me read through it? I'm sure reading through the script with someone else would help. I won't take no for an answer. I'll be reading the role of the Demon King that talks to my... friend's character. I looked over the script earlier, and this scene seems to be one of the highlights of the story. It's important we work on this one, okay? Let's begin. <sighs> All right. I'm ready. Here I go. Uh, well, it's not for me. This is going to be my friend's role. <laughs> it is I, the god of darkness, Chaos Obsidian! I... I feel it. My eyes are aflame with my supreme overlord vision. The full moon has doubled my spiritual energy, and my inner darkness overflows! I will send her this ring, sealing the pact and making her a member of my Nightmare Crusaders. We were together in our past lives. With this, that sacred bond will come to life once again!
What? What is it? Huh? I look excited? Oh, come on, don't tease me. <clears throat> Give me a second to gather myself. In my hands, I wield the demonic sword Durandal and the sword of darkness Dainsleaf. And in my grasp, the Dark Moon Shrine Princess, the resurrection of the Demon King, Super Satan, is... Oh, dear. <sighs> Shoot. I can't act if I'm embarrassed. But it's really hard to read such genuine and unfiltered trash. Oh, listen to me. Saying that just proves how bad of an actress I really am. Watch, I'll be... Uh, my friend, I mean... I have to read this seriously so I can help my friend really get into her role. You're still gonna help me with it, right? <laughs> Thank you! <sighs> I feel like things got a little carried away, but today was fun. I'm gonna get going now. I'll be back real soon, promise. See you later! The audition results are in! I got a character that wasn't the real hammy one! It's a small role, but it's still my debut. Thank you so much! I was able to get it with your help! I've been taking good care of my voice. I'm taking a lot of cough drops and wearing masks when I go out. I even bought a humidifier! It's my tool of the trade now. I've got to keep it safe. Also... Uh, that story about my friend, the aspiring VO? It was a lie. I'm sorry. It was really about me. I was the one who wanted to be a voice actor. At first I was too embarrassed to tell the truth. But you most likely figured it out anyway. Or did this come as a surprise? Huh? Really? I can't believe you didn't know. Oh, I feel so embarrassed that I told you. Anyway, my audition was accepted, so I guess I'm technically a professional now. Uh, what is it? It's not like I'm overly happy or anything. But all I did was land the role. I'm going to have to practice even more now. Of course, I'll have you help me too. My goddess duties take precedence, and I won't have much time, but it doesn't matter. I need to do this. All that's to say, you better be ready too. <laughs> hmm, hold on a second. If I come here to practice, we won't have a lot of time to hang out normally. I don't know if I really want that. I take that back. I'm going to work on polishing up my lines more, and then I can run them by you. Okay, now that I've got that out of the way, I need to start voice training immediately. I know I've already thanked you, but I really appreciate it. Thanks again. <laughs> See you soon. Take care of yourself. Hey, 
Hey, so this is pretty weird to ask, but are you at all interested in cosplay? What? Really? It doesn't weird you out? Anyway, I have a little bit of a request for you today. I kind of wanted to ask for your opinion on something. Lately, a lot of girls have been wearing really revealing outfits at cosplay events. Some of them are pretty much bikinis. <sighs> it just frustrates me. This is a what-if, of course. But if a person close to you was a cosplayer, would you be happy if they were in an outfit that showed a lot of skin? Hmm? Hmm. I see. Oh! Well, I don't wear clothing that shows a lot of skin, so this has nothing to do with me. Huh? Uh, well, I'm only asking because I'm just worried about the morality of the general public at conventions in my nation. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. Huh? My clothes show a lot of skin? Seriously? They seem normal to me, but... Hmm... And just so we're clear, the clothes I'm wearing right now are not cosplay. They might be a little different from the clothes in your world. But in my world, these clothes are normal. If I ever go out in your world, then I'll make sure that I get a hold of some normal clothes. Well, normal for your world, anyway. I'll have to study up on your world's fashion sense. So, whenever you finally decide to ask me to hang out sometime, I wouldn't want to embarrass you in public. J just kidding! All right. Well, I got your input on the cosplay issue. I'm gonna get going now. Okay, then. See you soon! That was so good! I can't believe it! It's good to know that you have fun anime in your world, too. Huh? Did you... fall asleep? Oh, really? Well, alright then. Anyway, I wonder what happens next. The performance of that new character's VO is so great! I'm really inspired! When she was fighting alongside the protag, her acting felt so noble, but it was still super cute! She's so amazing! This reminds me that I need to keep practicing. I want to get cool voiceover roles like this one. But just watching anime with someone is pretty great, too. We can watch an episode together, and then just talk about it when it's done. It's nice, right? Don't you think so? Ah, I see. Great minds think alike. <laughs> what? Come on. Don't look at me like that. It's a little embarrassing. So... I may have become a voice actress, but I don't want to become complacent. I want to keep aiming higher for myself. Of course, I won't neglect my CPU duties. I know that we'll have real battles to fight in the future. Anyway, um, if you think about it, I guess I'm here now thanks to everything that the player's done. Well. I mean, thanks to you. So... I really am grateful. Th 
Thank you. Uh, I'm just thanking you, okay? Oh, why do I have to feel so embarrassed all the time? Just so you know, from now on, I'm going to be asking for your help a lot more. So, well... Be prepared, okay? My name is Blan. I'm the goddess of Louis. Nice to meet you. Oh, sorry. I said that out of habit. You're the player, so you already know about me, don't you? Histoire gave me a brief explanation earlier. Anyway... Meeting you like this, it's making me a little nervous. Is that strange? Do you feel that way, too? <laughs> you know, we're pretty similar, aren't we? By the way, I thought I saw a bookshelf in here. Ah, oh, there it is. What a relief. I'm glad you have one. I wasn't sure if that's what it was when I came through the gate. See, I... I really love books. I'm interested in all kinds of genres. However... Lately, for reasons, I've been reading a light novel. Player, do you like reading books? <laughs> Oh, I see. Do you feel that way about light novels, too? It's a lot of fun learning about what hobbies other people are into. I love how words can unlock my imagination. It's great how reading does that so easily. It's a little easier for me to read because I like doing that. Some people don't have as much fun, though. They find it tiring. Light novels are easier for people like that. There isn't a lot of exposition to wade through, and since it's mostly dialogue, it's fairly easy to read. A lot of them are illustrated, too. They're the perfect novels for beginners. Wouldn't you agree? I knew you would, player. I'm happy you can understand the light novel's appeal. My passionate rambling was worth it. You know, my favorite author has an interesting story. What's crazy is that person never intended to become an author. She was journaling all of her adventures. That's all she intended to do, but her writing skills improved with every entry. When her adventure diary was finally published, it made the bestseller list rather quickly. Other writers who began with journals or light novels usually evolve and write more literary works, bringing their secret worlds to life. The methods of expression among writers are as endless as the methods to interpret their writing. It's in the discussions and analysis that this theory is... Oh... The two of us just met, but here I am, talking your ears off about my little hobby. <laughs> I'm sorry. I I'm gonna go now. I just came here to say hello, but I got carried away. I'm honestly surprised. I'm not very good at conversation, 
and I hardly ever do this sort of thing. But I've been wanting to meet you. I just had a lot I wanted to talk to you about. Oh no, I'm gonna start rambling again. This was nice. I'm going to come back and visit. Is that okay? Well, thanks for listening today. See you. Hello, player. What are you up to? Oh, I see. Organizing your bookshelf, huh? Hmm. I'm curious. Uh, um, I'm sorry for asking, but do you mind if I take a look at your books? Wow! Thanks a lot! You've got books I've never seen before. They're so interesting. But it might be a good idea to add some more to your collection. Hmm. Hmm. Here's an idea. I can start bringing you some books from my room when I come to visit you. You can never have too many. I would like to put some of my favorites on your shelf. <laughs> it would make me really happy if you ever got the chance to read through a few of them. I'd like for you to learn more about me as well. And if my favorite books are here, I feel like that would help me feel less nervous in your room. By the way, would it be okay if I read one of your books for a little bit? I've been curious about this one for a while now. Hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. Once I open up a book, it's easy for me to get lost in it. But it's fascinating. I think I feel reassured. Oh, it's nothing. Don't worry. This light novel I was just reading. Even though I only read a little bit, the character felt so alive. Her feelings were so beautifully wrought. <sighs> what lovely writing. This book. Huh. Does this have a sequel? Could you possibly get it for me? Or maybe I can go and buy them all and keep them here. Oh, could it be? I knew it. <sighs> this book doesn't exist in game industry.
If there's a sequel that exists, or if it ever comes out, I'd really appreciate it if you could buy it for me. And I'll be sure to keep a lookout for any books that I think you'd like to read. At this rate, we'll end up talking about books forever, so it's probably a good time for me to leave. Thanks so much for letting me read this. All right, then. I'll see you soon. Hi there. I'm here again. Like I mentioned last time, here, I brought you some books from my room. They're all wonderful books, and I'd love for you to read them when you get a chance. I'm gonna put them on your bookshelf, okay? <laughs> With all the books I brought, your bookshelves filled out quite nicely. It's amazing, no matter how many times I see it, when a bookshelf has been filled, so has my heart. <sighs> Looking at my favorite things always calms me down. Before I came over here, I was with my sisters. They're younger, and they're twins. The one in blue is Rom. She's the quiet one. The one in pink is Ram. She's really energetic. They get mixed up all the time, but Rom is the older one of the two. I'm proud of them both, and they're so cute. Oh, I just realized. You must know about both of them by now. They can be a handful sometimes. If I take my eyes off of them for a second, they'll get into trouble. I'm busy all day, so I'm not always able to look after them. It's understandable that they'd get into mischief here and there, but... I just don't have a lot of time to hang out with them. But besides that... I'm not the most outgoing individual in the world, so it's hard for me to take the initiative. So, even if they get into a little mischief, I almost welcome it, as long as they're doing something with me. But, I will get angry if they end up drawing on any of my important documents. I'm not really great at leading people, but it brings me so much happiness to know Ram and Ram rely on me. Player, does it make you happy to know someone relies on you, even if you're not a leader? Look like someone that could be relied on. But I suppose you can't judge a book by its cover. Even though I'm not a great leader, it's encouraging to know that someone's counting on me. It's weird, isn't it, to feel encouraged even though I'm not a great leader? Well, maybe... Being the goddess of a nation has something to do with that feeling. 
Oh, I apologize. Somehow, this turned into me confiding in you. I... I don't have a lot of people I can talk to about this. I have Neptune and the other goddesses, but I don't know. They're more like rivals. Even though we spur each other on to be better fighters, I don't think we ever just talk about our feelings. Oh, wait. What in the world am I saying? I'm really sorry. I guess I'll head home for today. I feel like I just kept on talking, but I'm glad you were here to listen. Um, thanks for spending so much time with me today. I appreciate you a lot. Oh, hello, player. After the last time I left, I was thinking about the way that I'd been acting around you. It wasn't my usual self. Um, people usually tell me that I'm a little rough around the edges, so I guess I wanted to try being more polite is all. And I heard that you were a being who could interact with lots of dimensions, so I was nervous about the kind of person you'd be. But as I talked to you, I realized you're not that different from us. All of this to say, I don't think I should try and force being so polite. Because all I really want is to just become a closer friend to you. Player, I'm going to try and act more like myself. I want to be more comfortable around you, so I'd appreciate it if you would just act like yourself around me, too. So, let's be friends. I know. I've been meaning to ask you, but the timing never works out. Player, can I register you to my Our Tomo collection? It's a game where you can register your friends as avatars and watch them interact with each other. It might sound kind of boring, but it's actually pretty fun. The game has a lot of elements, but the number one selling point is how these artificial relationships can form all on their own. To give an example using my data, Neptune and Noir the comedian and the realist, have pretty much switched roles in game. The usual scenario is, of course, Noir is really serious and naive, and Neptune just cracks a lot of jokes while helping people. Vert has <laughs> formed a weird comedy duo with Uzume, and they practice their routines up on a roof. <laughs> as for my avatar, she recently debuted as an idol, and she performs and sings while wearing a squid costume. I'm really terrible at performing in front of people, so watching it makes me feel pretty strange. Now that I've explained it, is it okay if I registered you as a resident, too? Thank 
Thank you. Okay, then. I'll do it when I get home. I'll make your face look super realistic, too. Anyway, today... I brought this card set with me, 100 Poems, Special Edition, although I think it's more commonly known as Karuta. It's a beautiful game. But the content of the poems might be a little different from the ones you have in your world. I think the rules might be the same, though. Just so you know, this isn't just any old card game. And it's much more than a simple memory game. It might not be in book form, but it's a proper collection of beautiful poetry. Poetry has a way of holding the emotions of its author in the scenes it portrays. By analyzing them, we can infer a deeper meaning that exists well beyond the words. Also, whether or not you're able to understand a poem makes all the difference as to whether you can memorize them easily or not. Let me read you my favorite one in this collection. <clears throat> For your precious sake, once my eager life itself was not dear to me. This poem is about a sacrificial kind of love. The speaker in it loves the person they're talking to very much. But I relate most to this part. But now it is my heart's desire that long, long years it may endure. It means, even though meeting was beautiful in itself, it isn't enough. They'd like to stay together for all eternity. What? What's with the face? If you make a good friend, or have a sister, it's just normal to want to cherish that relationship. Wait, are you trying to say this phrase doesn't suit me? Hmm. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm not the type to make jokes like that. That was new for me. <laughs> it's kind of strange. You know, when I'm with you, I... Um, well, I'm gonna go home now. You know, come to think of it, I never taught Ram and Ram 100 poems. I think I'll play with them using simple rules when I get back. See ya. Oh, hello. Um, I'm a little sleepy today. Thanks for not making it weird. I do appreciate that. The thing is, I've been so busy lately that I haven't been resting well. But I managed to finish everything I was working on. It's okay now. Oh, nothing happened back home in Louis. Everything is okay there. It's nothing you need to worry about, okay, player? Um, the work I was talking about was kind of personal, I guess. Maybe voluntary is a better word. But 
Anyway, it's nothing a goddess like me can't handle. I'm fine, so... Ugh! That was stupid. Sorry to worry you, player. I think I'm more exhausted than I realize. Is it okay with you if I sit down for a minute? Wow, it's so soft. Now I want to lay down. Is that okay? Thank you so much. Ah, whew. Um, I think it's time I go home for the day. I, I think I'm getting a fever, and I really wouldn't want you to get sick just because of me. I'll, I'll come back when I feel better. Hi, how are you? Uh, about last time. I'm sorry to worry you. As you can see, I'm not so tired today. I'm feeling much better. I bet you're wondering what's in the envelope, huh? I don't know if I should tell you. Well, just don't laugh at me, all right? Um, this is actually something I've been working on for a while. It's a light novel. Do you remember when I said I was really busy? Well, it's because I've been staying up late writing this. Well, Louis confers a Winter Forest Novelist Award a few times a year for new writers, and I've been wanting to submit. Of course, I've been chipping away at my story here and there for a while now. But the story in this setting slowly started to change. When I realized the deadline was nearing, I just couldn't sleep anymore. I would stay up all night long working on my story, but, uh, um, this might be a weird question for me to ask, but do you think I have what it takes to become a great writer? I think you have a good understanding of who I am now, so I want your honest opinion, player. <laughs> Really? <laughs> Hearing you say that gives me the confidence I need to keep writing. And I know it's tough. But even if the path is difficult, if you don't believe in yourself, you'll never be able to live the life you want for yourself. 
If I start to worry about what other people think of me or my work, well, I just can't think about that. It's irrelevant. What's important is that I do what makes me happy. I can't forget about that, even when it gets difficult. <laughs> that sounds like something a protagonist would say, doesn't it? So, I have a little request for you. I want to let this story breathe for a little bit. If it's okay with you, I'll leave the envelope here for now. If I take it home, I know I'm going to want to tweak some minor details. I feel like I shouldn't look at it for a few days because it feels good right now. I am hoping that the next time I look at it, I can add some magic to it. I feel like taking a break from the writing will give me some good ideas for it. Oh, please, don't mention this to Neptune or the others. I really, really don't want them to know about this. Please don't tell them. I guess it's time to go. I'll just leave it right here. And keep it a secret, okay? See ya. Well, hello. So, when I went home last time, I tried a lot of things to get some new ideas going. I tried spending some time in nature, tried fighting monsters nonstop, played in the snow with Rom and Ram. I even tried making different kinds of sweets. Thanks to that, I have some good ideas now. Someone once said that nothing ever becomes real until it is experienced. That's true, isn't it? So, here. These sweets I made. Well, they're as real as it gets. It's a simple cookie called boule de neige. It's French, for snowball. I don't know if I made them right, but I'd like you to try one, if you don't mind. Anyway, I wanted to give you a little update on where I'm at with my novel. It's definitely a work in progress. I've decided on the world and characters, but... I'm having some trouble with the story. I've got a bit of an idea for it. But I can't seem to get it down. Hmm... I know. Can I run it by you? I think this will really help. Sorry to put you on the spot like this. I'll tell you what I've been thinking about so far. <clears throat> The legendary dragon knight Orlando was summoned by the deity Overoniana, overseer of the divine and demon realms. His quest is to save both realms. 
It's part high fantasy, part action. And during his travels, he fights alongside other legendary warriors, also summoned by Overoniana. I'm still thinking of what kind of crisis the realms are in, but the first friend Orlando makes is Olivier of the Divine Realm. She's the daughter of King Vidrier and is an excellent magic user. She's righteous and straightforward, but the fact that she can't be honest with herself is detrimental at times. <laughs> There's someone close to me that's quite similar. The second friend they encounter is named Noma. She resides in the demon realm, but has no special powers per se. On the other hand, she's highly intelligent and gives Orlando a lot of support. She's different from Olivier in that she's much more calm. She gets jealous easily, however, and she can act a little cold sometimes. Noma is also the daughter of the Demon King, but since she has no powers, she was thrown out of the castle by her father, so she wouldn't be caught up in all of the drama or struggles of deciding an heir. The third person is Sebastian. You might have guessed from the name, but he's a butler. Because the Demon King is a bit of a helicopter parent, he sent Sebastian as both a butler and a bodyguard. He's highly loyal to the Demon King and to Noma. He's a lighthearted person, but he's also very sharp and does a lot of things in the shadows. Uh... Hmm. Talking about this out loud is making me think. Um... I feel like the thing I want to focus on most is... Could it be the characters? The plot is full of holes, but I find the characters really interesting. In my mind, they aren't bound to this story. They have their own free will and act accordingly. I just want to see what they end up doing. Instead of forcing a plot onto them, Maybe I should just let their personalities dictate where the story goes. Do you think that's a good idea? And here I thought it was a great idea. If you really feel that way, I guess I should reconsider where this is going. I'll think it over some more. <sighs> It'll be a long and winding road to becoming a famous author if I keep this up. I'll start working on these problem areas as soon as I get home. I have new ideas, too. I think I'm going to go home right away and start working. You know, I wasn't really sure if I should come see you today or not, but I'm glad I did. I feel like you got me out of the rut that I was in, too. I'd like to thank you, so... Thanks. <laughs> see ya. Oh. Hi there, player. Wait, why are you staring at me like that? I'm just kidding. You can always see right through me, can't you, player? I have been laboring over my manuscript since the last time I was here. 
but it's just not working out. No matter how many different ways I think about it, it's not going where I want it to go. I've been feeling depressed. Sometimes I hear people say that you shouldn't let your head get in the way of what you're thinking. But then, what am I supposed to think with? Uh, hey! What gives? What are you looking at? My... heart? Oh, you're saying I should feel instead of think. I have read so many books. I couldn't even tell you how many I've read in my lifetime. And yet, I can't even manage to write one good story. I don't know. Maybe my imagination is just being stubborn. I'm pretty bad at writing. Um, depictions of romance and love, things like that. I've read a lot of romance novels, but when I try writing scenes like that, I just can't get them right. It feels unnatural. Besides, I'm not even sure of what... of what to write about. By the way... Player, is there someone in your life that... you like? Someone who's... special to you? Oh? Wow. I see. Well, that's... interesting. I won't be nosy, I promise. But, um, well, I hope it works out. I might be working on writing a novel, but reading a novel and writing one are so very different. Do you remember what I said about doing what makes you happy, even if it gets difficult? I'm not so sure about that anymore. Anyone can write a book, but... It takes a real genius to move the world with their pen. I'm not sure I'm that kind of a writer. And right now, I can't even manage to get my book in a bookstore, let alone change the world with my writing. I need to open up my world to new experiences if I want anything to change. Maybe, for starters, I can try finding a partner. I'm just kidding. I'm a goddess who rules a nation. It would be a disaster if someone found out. For now, I can research online. No, that's no good. I might get biased knowledge planted in my mind. Looks like time's up. Um, please, don't worry. I'm just stressed. And you can't mention a single word of this to Neptune or to anybody else. Uh, I'll be back soon. See you then.
Ah, oh, it is finally finished. I finally sent in my manuscript for that novelist award I was telling you about before. But, unfortunately, I think I've reached my limit. I hope this is all right. I feel like I just might fall asleep sitting here. I should keep talking so I stay awake. Let's see. Oh, I was having so much trouble depicting the love between the main characters. Saving the heroine wasn't a good enough motivation for the adventure he was on. I don't know if you remember, but the heroine that Orlando first encounters actually turns out to be the spirit deity known as Overoniana. She was the one who summoned him. Which means, by saving the world per Overoniana's request, he will be saving the heroine at the same time. After the last time I left, I went home and decided to do some research on friendships and romance, but nothing I found online made sense. While I was thinking over what I could possibly do, you actually came to mind. <laughs> I actually used you as a model for my heroine. Wasn't until I met you that I felt this feeling, the feeling of having fun, just being together, and how I come to visit with you in this room so often now. But for all we know, the gate might not be here tomorrow. There's a chance that I might not see you again. Or, what if you were in trouble? I would want to help you. And it's with all of those feelings in mind that I was able to progress in writing my story. It suddenly became so effortless. It would have been nice if you could have looked at it, but the deadline was getting close, and I was so busy that I forgot to bring it by. But I have a lot of confidence in it. We just have to wait for the results. By the way, I'm actually pretty confident in the way I wrote those romance sequences between the protagonist and the heroine. My past self might actually be pretty shocked to hear such a thing. <laughs> but, hmm, it's a little strange. I don't really feel like I need to see the results regarding the award right now. I think just finishing the novel was enough for me. I really want you to read it, but I also feel like I'd be very embarrassed if you actually did. I've talked about it a lot, so you must be curious. I knew you would be, but when you look at me like that, it's too embarrassing. It's like, well, like you would be reading all of my thoughts after all. Well, anyway, that's all that I have to update you on. Mm, sorry, I think I'm nodding off a little bit. Oh, don't worry, I won't have any issues getting back. Besides, today, my favorite book comes out. It's really popular in my nation, so I want to pick it up on my way home before it sells out. Hey, don't look at me like that. Oh, okay, I understand. I guess I'll hang out here until I feel a little more awake. Then I'll head home. 
You just see everything, don't you? Thank you. <sighs> just a little... A little rest. That's it. Listen up, player. My novel won a special award. <laughs> you know, I never could have done this on my own. <laughs> or, I mean, it's thanks to you that I was able to get this. It would make me so happy to celebrate together. <laughs> well, if you're happy, then I am too. Do you remember how, the other day, I said that I didn't really care to see the results of the award right away? I've been thinking about that. It wasn't just because I felt a sense of accomplishment for finishing my novel or... Anything like that. To be honest, I think I was afraid. I couldn't bear the thought of someone rejecting the ideas that I had come up with during the time I spent with you. I felt like if my novel wasn't selected, then these memories I've made with you would feel tarnished. When I realized that, all of a sudden... I didn't care about the results anymore. I couldn't bring myself to look when the announcement came. But I told myself, even if I didn't win the award, the time I spent with you is still special. Nothing would change what it means to me. With that in mind, I didn't care what happened. Well, in the end, I did actually win an award, so maybe it's easy for me to say these sorts of things. Also, guess what? I'm finally getting an editor to help me out. I've even been approached about a publishing deal. Isn't that great? So, when my book comes out, I want you to accept the very first signed copy, if you would. My biggest dream is to sign a book I published right in front of the people that are most important to me. I want you to be the first one. I mean it. Can you believe someone asked me to write a sequel already? I've got nothing to lose, so I'm gonna do it. I already have a few ideas for the sequel, but to be honest, I'm not sure if I'll be able to deliver. But if I write while spending time with you, I think I'll be able to come up with another great story. So, if I run into trouble when I'm writing, do you think that maybe I can come over to your place again? Thank you. I hope that the two of us, that we'll always be able to come together, player.
Oh, hello there. My name is Vert, and I am the goddess of Leanbox. Hmm, I have introduced myself, but I believe that you already know who I am. Is that correct? <laughs> So it is true that you possess the power of interdimensional interaction. <laughs> I suppose I am not surprised. Upon seeing your face, I have felt that this is not the first time that we have met. I must admit, this feels strange. Oh my, do you happen to feel embarrassed? <laughs> What a surprise. You appear to be much friendlier than I imagined. Oh, please forgive me. I have yet to explain information that is pertinent to our current situation. Eastwar had informed me somewhat of your identity and the special role you have here. I was told that your existence is abnormal and that you hold the unique power to interact with alternate dimensions. However, now that we have actually made contact, I have to say I had quite a different image of you in my head. I am surprised and relieved. Hmm. You have such lovely consoles. This is the perfect environment for anyone to indulge in the wonderful world of gaming. Oh, I apologize. Instincts were kicking in, as it were. It is occasionally embarrassing, but it is truly work-related. Whenever I visit someone's room, I habitually peruse their gaming setup. Um, I understand that this was my first time meeting you, but was it rude of me to look through your personal game collection? Moving forward, I will be more sensitive. Even if there were loose wires or a lack of displays, I will not exercise judgment. But I feel this is a very nice room you have. I have taken a liking to it, to be perfectly honest with you. Oh, is it time already? I did happen to drop in suddenly. I suppose I should be leaving now. Otherwise, I might just overstay my welcome. Okay, then. I will be taking my leave now, player. I must say, today was a wonderful first meeting. I do hope we will interact much more from now on. Hello, it has been a while. <laughs> yes, not that long, I suppose. I'm happy to see you are well. This is a random question, but how do you feel about the nation you grew up in? I am certain you have several memories of it, but were you fond of living there? Is that so, player? <laughs> Perhaps that was too random. As for me, Leanbox is the nation I rule, and I love it dearly. Its climate is temperate all year round, and our resort industry is booming. People from all over game industry come to Leanbox to take their vacations. 
We have shining white sands and beautiful oceans for miles on end. Relaxing wow. under an umbrella on the beach with a drink in hand is perfection. It would be wonderful to go with you someday. Oh, excuse me. I went a little off topic. Our nation is free and abundant, or at least this is the image the world has of us. Leanbox does hold those attributes, but we also possess a powerful military industry. We deal in a variety of different weapons, and it is our nation's main export. Game industry has always had to deal with monsters, so these weapons are most often used defensively. They've received high praise from around the world. Of course, I receive some of that patronage from Uni of Last Station as well. It is the perfect fodder to negotiate a date with Uni and... <clears throat> oh, I misspoke. Pardon. In any case, many of Leanbox's industries are built around event production as well. To give an example, we recently held a dynamic performance where fighter jets drew pictures among the clouds. Unfortunately, despite all of this, because Leanbox does not sit on the same landmass as the other nations, I am unable to see Nebgear and the others often. All right, I believe that concludes my brief introduction of Leanbox. However, I would be thrilled if I was able to convey even a fraction of her charm. Oh, pardon me a moment. Wow, is that really the time? I apologize, but I must hurry back now. My apologies for leaving so abruptly, but I really must be going now. Good day to you. Hello again. I am glad you are well. By the way, I have a random question for you. Do you happen to watch anime at all? Uh, well, the reason for my question is... I remembered there was this anime, and it was based on a game I replayed that long ago. Because it was such an opportune moment, I decided to go ahead and watch it. The anime completely enraptured me, and I forgot all about my work. That is just the way life goes sometimes, I suppose. I know the ending from the game, and it is because I already know what happens that I cannot watch it without tears filling my eyes. Oh, oh my, I did not come here today to discuss this with you. Today, I thought we could speak about our hobbies. It is a common way to learn about one another, is it not? My most beloved hobby is, of course, gaming. Not far behind, however, is my burning passion for tea. Delicious tea is the perfect beverage for both playing games and completing work. A great many of my skills have earned their names from some of my favorite blends of tea. Were you already aware of this? I find it so enjoyable to visit a tea shop and try all of the blends they have available. The fragrances are always so lovely and charming. I usually only drink the brands that I am fond of, but I also like to shake things up and try new brands here and there. Oh, yes, not long ago, a dear friend of mine taught me a special method of brewing jasmine tea. 
Today would have been the perfect day to attempt it. However, I am quite tired from playing for God it... <clears throat> from working late last night. Perhaps Darjeeling would be more appropriate, considering its ability to help with fatigue. But, but, I have just learned that new technique. Dear me, I cannot decide. Should I just brew jasmine after all? <laughs> Of course I should. It is decided. She did teach me how to brew it after all, and I'd like to give her my feedback. According to my friend, it also has the ability to raise someone's chances of finding love. Although I'm not certain of its efficacy. I have an idea. This is perfect. I will think of you while I drink it. <laughs> did your heart skip a beat? Do not fear. It is only a test. Oh, is it time already? I was hoping that we could speak more. All right, I will take my leave for the day. Good afternoon. Oh, were you working on your computer? Hmm, these specs are great. I actually have extensive knowledge of computers, you know. For you to do this kind of maintenance on your PC, I suppose you are quite knowledgeable with them as well. My, I had guessed as much. It seems we are quite similar. It is so well maintained. I would expect this level of cleanliness from an expert. The wiring is also organized neatly. Well done. Ah, oh, this reminds me of something. When I was taking care of Ruby... Ah. Oh, my apologies. Ruby is the name I have given my computer. Anyway, as I was completing my routine maintenance, my Oracle Chica brought me some apple pie, and then she... Wait, do you know about Chica? Well, she is the Oracle of Leanbox, and one of my closest supporters. She is truly an adorable girl. She always fondly calls me dear sister, but... Well, between you and me, she's an attention seeker, going as far as feigning illness at times. I cannot help but spoil her, though. Perhaps it is not my place to say anything like this about her. My, how I have strayed from my story. So, mm, yes, Chica had accidentally tripped on some of Ruby's cables. Thankfully, Chica was not hurt at all. But she had dropped her apple pie all over me and the circuit board I was holding. We both panicked for a moment, but she seemed much more worried than I was. <laughs> Once we cleaned Ruby up and turned her on, she booted up normally like nothing happened. It was as if she wanted apple pie so much that she tripped Chica. <laughs> Ever since then, I imagine Ruby is somewhat of a glutton. Hmm? Uh, apologies, I have a notification. Oh, a delivery was sent from Amazu. It should be arriving at my room any moment now. Uh, pardon me, but I... I must return quickly in order to receive my package. I had purchased several new parts in order to upgrade all of Ruby's specs. I had it backordered for quite some time, but for it to be delivered when I was speaking on the subject... 
as expected of my little glutton. I will have to go install the parts immediately. Please have a good day. Hello, player. I have returned. <laughs> oh, what's this? My goodness, recipes for stews, hmm? They all look delicious. Huh? What is this? This advertisement is quite out of place for a gourmet food magazine. It is far too cheesy. Ifrit whispers to me, Boil the concoction further. Combine rice and the remaining broth to find the answer. <laughs> One cannot help but laugh at this. <laughs> what else is here? If you wish to make a meal delish, then you must use this golden dish. <laughs> Wait, I've seen this shape before. Oh dear, I was trying so hard to forget. I just remembered something quite unpleasant. I almost lost my composure. <sighs> it happened just a little while ago. I had heard rumors of a powerful monster in an old factory at the outskirts of town. As a goddess, I could not leave it be. I left to investigate the area at once. When I went further inside the factory, the monster showed itself. But... Well, it was a strange robot. It resembled a golden pot with arms and legs. Game industry has seen stranger monsters before, so I was not too surprised. However, it backed me into a corner during our battle. It was very strong. That was when five adventurers saved me with a skill that materialized shadows. With their help, I was able to defeat that monster, yet it was so disgraceful that I was not able to handle it alone. I really could not believe that. My frustration was immense. Hmm, wait a moment. Now that I recall, I believe the yellow person addressed me as Hilly. Was that some sort of slang? Ah. Oh. Oh, I see. That's what it meant. You know, talking about this really helped me get it off my chest. I must get going now. Until next time. <laughs> it has become quite normal for me to drop in like this, hasn't it? So, I came by today to ask for a little of your advice on an issue Leanbox is currently facing. People from other nations have always pointed out that hardware from Leanbox is too big and bulky. I do believe compact hardware is ideal, but at the end of the day, I want to give people high-end, high-space hardware.
I believe higher specs open the possibilities for gaming, and a machine like that could handle any genre. Do you not agree? However, using high-performance parts like that will always increase the size. And I cannot wait around for smaller parts to be designed and created. Yes, that's it, isn't it? They do say that bigger is better, and if compatibility with old games is truly necessary, then my policies are not mistaken. Ah. I feel much lighter now. I rarely have an opportunity to ask someone outside my nation for advice like this. Thanks to your help, I was able to reorganize my thoughts again. Huh? It is raid time. I mean, it is time for an important meeting, so I must take my leave. I have other duties given to me aside from being the goddess of Leanbox. I have a mountain of administrative things, such as various plans and tactical policies to decide upon. If I ever need advice on these matters in the future, I would appreciate your help. Hello, you seem like you are doing well. I came here today because I wish to tell you something special. During tea time, a brilliant idea for a new game just came to mind. Oh, pardon me, I just wanted to inquire about your opinion on it. <clears throat> Allow me to gather myself so I can better explain the story. Danger once again looms over game industry, threatening peace throughout the land. The story is set in Lestation, a nation ruled by the goddess Noir. Its economy prospers due to its many industries and massive amounts of trading. However, there were those who loathed this nation. Its basilicom, Lestation's pillar, was captured, and Noir was captured. The perfect coup d'etat. New Lestation, as named by the coup, isolated it from the world. It seemed that the death of Lestation's freedom was imminent, but there remained a single hope. Yes, it is Uni, Lestation CPU candidate. So, that is the game's prologue, for now. The next thing to discuss would be its game system. Using a TPS view, various stage elements can be destroyed, and in order to boost its visual impact, all playable characters are robots. Of course, the mechanic is Uni's dear friend, Nepgear. Ram and Ram are a clever pair of analysts. Also, you use heavy weapons to knock enemies and whole stages down. It will be supremely exhilarating, let me assure you. The game is based on robots, but by inserting Uni's voice and cutscenes of her in between the action, the player can see how cute she is in the cockpit. This is the ultimate marriage of Moe and Mayhem. Well... I personally would love a cutscene of Uni making an entrance by smashing the Basilicom wall as she's saying, Let's party! That about does it for my general explanation. What do you think? Is this a game you would play? That is excellent! Of course a savvy gamer like yourself would want to play this. Hearing you say this has inspired me greatly. But then...
I explained my concept to Noir before, but... There's no way Lestation's name would ever be on such a stupid game. I won't allow it, she said. And so it was rejected. I built my original plans around using myself as the game's main character. When I started to highlight the younger sisters, though, it just became this. But I am beginning to feel that it would be a waste to give up at this point. Going off your impression, I should approach Neptune and Blonde about it as well. If it is popular with them, then I will work with Noir and take it in a direction she can agree with. Okay, that's it. I must revise my plan and organize my presentation so I can show her immediately. Thank you for listening to me, player. I will take my leave for the day. Uh, hello, player. Excuse me, this is very new to me. My world is spinning a little. Goodness, how have you not noticed such an obvious change? I would appreciate if you made any comment rather than none at all. I suppose I will take these off for a little while. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. <laughs> oh, how embarrassing of me. That was so unbelievably disgraceful. I only wished to show you a different side to me. That's why I wore these glasses. But... When borrowing from Chica, I only paid attention to the style, not realizing these were prescription. I have some glasses that I use as a disguise, but those don't have prescription lenses. I use them only very rarely normally, and it is usually just so I can sneak myself into various comic and game events. Since I have them, I should show you how I look in glasses one more time. I really do feel intelligent when I put these on. It is an encouraging feeling. It is important to look the part, isn't it? I feel as if I could solve any gimmick or puzzle looking the way I do right now. The bigger problem is, however, that I cannot see in front of me very well. What do you think of me in glasses? Do you feel that it brings about a special kind of charm? <laughs> it was worth the trouble of picking these out to hear you say that. Hmm, this might be a good time to add to my personal collection of fake glasses. If I wear prescription ones again, I might trip, so... Oh, is it already time? That passed so quickly. I would love to stay longer, but... I regrettably must take my leave now. Oh, I have an idea. If you really liked them, I can wear glasses the next time I visit as well. Only if you would like me to do that. What do you think? <laughs> Wonderful. I will find a few new pairs to wear next time. Okay, see you soon. Hello. 
Have you been resting? Today, I have something very special I would like to show you. That special something is none other than... Ta-da! It is an album of adorable younger sisters. I finally finished this album. You can call it the crystallization of my overflowing heart, love, sweat, and tears, volume three. Please excuse me. My love for this album has overflowed a little too much. My first and second volumes were great, but this one, this is the best one by far. Let us take a look inside. I will sit right here, okay? Now, I will invite you into the dazzling world of my beautiful sisters. Oh, each photo has such dazzling charm. I can hardly contain myself. First is this beautiful swimsuit photo. The lovely sight of the younger sisters all wearing such cute swimwear. Oh, look at Nepgear splashing around in the water. She's usually so calm. Okay, moving on, we have some of Uni's photos. Her normally devilish expression, a front for maturity, is fantastic, but the ferocity she exhibits in HDD is just perfect. The way she becomes even more slender after transforming is a crime. The size of her upgraded weapon is magnificent, don't you think? However, she seems bothered by her transformation. She complains that her chest gets smaller. Next up are Ram and Ram. This photo is from a racing tournament in Louis. I was a production manager and worked with the twins since they were the poster girls for the event. I wanted to try and challenge myself by giving their outfits a bit of flair they're not used to having. They might be a little younger than the other sisters, but I was so happy I was able to make some cute little outfits for them. I am almost scared of how powerful my production powers can be. Even though Blonde caught me during the event and I had to make a hasty retreat, this photo came out so beautifully that they were all happy in the end. <laughs> totally worth it. All of my photos are a personal treasure, and I swear, I could never tire of speaking about them. Although, there is one regret I still have. Older Neptune told me about this, but while I was busy participating in a cosplay event, well, Nepgear and Uni were having a battle of endurance against each other in a sauna. On top of that, they were only wearing towels. The cosplay event was wonderful as well, but if I had heard of this battle beforehand, I could have been able to witness it in person. One cannot bring a camera into a public bath, but if it was a private one, then... No, no. They would not allow me to take a picture of them only wearing bath towels in the first place. I mean, I have no qualms being photographed in that way, but... <laughs> oh? <laughs> An image of me in a towel just ran through your mind, didn't it? Oh, is it time already? My mind was so preoccupied with the younger sisters that I did not notice the time at all. I do not believe I have fully expressed my appreciation for them, but do you better understand their charm now? This album is a treasure that is full of my most precious memories. Someday I hope to complete an album together with you. Oh, goodness me! What in heavens am I saying? Please, completely forget what I just said. I must be tired. A good day to you.
Hello there. Oh, dear. When you look away like that, I'm afraid I will feel too anxious. Or awkward. <sighs> I thought I was the only one who felt that way, but perhaps I was mistaken. After looking at you, what I was so concerned about before now feels so insignificant in comparison. Maybe it's because it is you, or perhaps because you have been with me for so long, I wish to tell you this. To tell you the truth, I have been so worried that after what had happened last time, you may have come to dislike me. Um, I got too excited about showing you the album, and I became too blunt with you without thinking of how it made you feel. So until just a moment ago, I had been feeling too afraid to face you, and, well, you see, um... Well, either way, I was just nervous. At first, I came here because I was simply curious about who you were and what you were like, knowing you were someone who helped save the world. Back then, I thought you were a little strange, but over time, it became more and more fun to spend time with you. Your presence in my life has become so important to me, but now I cannot imagine living a life without you in it. Your presence is so large that it cannot be contained in my ample chest. Because of this, I have decided. From now on, no matter what, I will continue to come and visit you here. Even if the current gate becomes unusable, I will concentrate all of Leanbox's technological efforts to make it work again. <laughs> Was that a little too overblown? In any case, I believe it shows you just how serious I am about this. Oh, I just had a wonderful idea. Would you like to have a tea party with me sometime? Well, when someone says party, it usually refers to a rather large and loud group. Honestly, I only wish to see you. Just us. A party of two. So, player, it is my greatest hope that you will choose to stay with me from now on.